Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Do a quick little walk around before we get on the bike. Nice little check, make sure everything is good. I got um talking about this topic today. I want to got to do a little check up on everything soon as well. Something I want to start doing more often. It is a beautiful day out here, dirty Jersey. Gonna have a high of 80 degrees today. Grayish skies right now, but we should have some blue skies, clear skies later on as the day goes on. Um, today I wanted to talk about a topic, um, and it's something that uh, that I used to do a lot before when I first started the channel, and it's something that I want to get into. Um, I want to add a little bit more more content when it comes to that aspect as well. Um, so this content is basically going to be for newer riders, guys. So those of you guys who know how to ride really well and have been riding for years. You don't have to watch this video and say, well, why are you going over this? We already know this. This is not intended for you. Newer riders, newer riders. So I wanted to talk about some things that you should know when you go on your first group ride or some things you should know or should be doing before you go on your first group ride. Um, yes, it all sounds all fun and dandy when you say, oh, we're gonna go on a cool group ride bunch of bikes all together yes I know it is exciting um, and you pick a fun destination and with some food and drinks some good people and it might be your first time it sounds cliche but with great power comes great responsibility is that a great man once you need to make sure that before you go on a group ride you know your signs you know what to look after you know what to look for um, you know what to be alert for um, you need to be aware of who's leading the pack, who's going to be in the back of the pack in case if anything happens. Um, for example, my group rides are very well structured. I always have um, a captain leading in the front. I don't like to lead because I'm doing most of the filming most of the time. So most of the time I'm, I'm like second on, on the line. Um, and then I do have a strong rider all the way in the back in case in the event if anything was to go wrong with anyone's bike that's towards the back. Um, so you always want to get on something where you're gonna, it's going to be well structured like that. You're going to have a good captain, you're going to have someone in the back who will be basically like a sergeant <laughs> in a way, uh, looking out for anything that happens. And then um, you're going to want to have someone who's going to go out of the pack once here and there, or another good rider, who's going to make sure that everyone's riding tight, everyone's riding nice and tight all together you don't want to leave enough space for any cars to get in between you and your other riders that that's that's the worst thing that can happen to be honest um so me for example i'm i'm that guy i'm the guy that gets out of the group because i'm filming and i'm you know i'm trying to catch you with that video but at the same time i'm communicating with the rider i'm telling them to get closer together if i uh see too much space and um it's just a good way just to fall back and make sure everything is in line Maybe you notice something that, that's hanging off a bike or something, you know, so that's that's always good. Now, a few things you should know are your signs, right? You need to know what your signs are because that road captain is going to be throwing up signs and everyone behind him is going to be following what those signs are going to be. And you're going to see that it goes down the line, whatever the captain does, everyone in that line is going to do. So obviously if we go like this, it's one person. That means that you're going through a narrow road and you shouldn't be staggered, right? Um, number two, riding staggered means one here on the left, one here on the right, one here on the left, one here on the right, one here on the left, one here on the right. Safest way to ride. Uh, me, when, whenever I'm with my boys, like we're kind of riding bar to bar because we're just used to riding that way. And I've been riding with these guys for a long time. So I know how they ride. But for the most part, you know, I ride staggered when I ride with uh, other people who come in the group. Um, we're going to stop here and get some coffee because it's early and I'm tired and I need my energy. Talking about that, I need to, um, <laughs> I need to add in my performance cup holder on here, which I got from Lexan. I want to do a video on that pretty soon. I should have done that already, but I haven't had the time. We're gonna add that video. Best way to get your Dunkin', guys. 
order ahead, pick up and go. Let's put this somewhere in the front where it's not gonna tip over. Stuff that. That ain't not good. That's not going anywhere. All right, so what were we? So yeah, if you see this, that means there's one line, not staggered, right? You're gonna see if the captain puts up his left arm up like this, that means that we're turning right, right? Or you'll see him go like this, over his head, turning right, he's pointing to the direction. That same left arm all the way out to the left means that you're gonna be turning left. So you might be coming up on a cross, you might be coming up on a stop sign, where you guys are going to be turning and that's how you're going to know you're going to know all the way out to the left is left with his elbow bent up that means to the right because we can't take off this arm because we got it on the uh on the throttle so that's how you're going to know so you're going to know your right sign your left sign if you're riding in one line then you're going to notice if someone comes up next to you which will be me that person i'll be telling you to scoop up a little get tighter you're also gonna be looking out for a very important sign. So anyone ahead of you, if they're gonna be slowing down, they're gonna go like this. They're gonna put their hand out either to the left of the bike or to the right of the bike. And, they're, and it's gonna look like they're bouncing a ball. So that means slow down, slow down. Something's up ahead, right? Um, you're gonna have five people who are gonna point down to the ground. That means that it could be a pothole, um, just an uneven, uh, road, uneven pavement up ahead. Uh, if you're gonna see someone squealing like this, that means that there's snakes on the ground. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> it's just for those little squiggly oil patch lines that there is sometimes on the roads. Um, and there's a bunch of other signs, which I think I'll, I'll just make a, a video just on that and I'll do the video with someone else so you guys can see from the rider's perspective and you guys can see from uh the person following from their perspective as well so now that we got that out the way um your captain or the leader of that group should also be having a nice little roundup little meeting prior to that just to go over all these things before that group ride um hey let you guys know hey who's leading who's behind if in case if anything happens who to follow um the protocols to follow um going over destinations, going over speeds, letting everyone know, hey, we're riding tight, you know, we're gonna be riding at this speed. You know, some people like to ride at a certain speed. Some people might wanna just cruise on that group ride and do 65, 70, 75. Some might wanna do 80, some might wanna do 90, 95, but at least you know what everyone is gonna be doing, making sure that you feel comfortable. On to the next thing, making sure that you feel comfortable. You need to make sure that you're gonna feel comfortable on that ride and you need to be honest with yourself and some advice that i got for you is that you should do a lot of riding prior to you going on a group ride so you shouldn't be going out to get your license learning how to ride and the next week you're on a group ride like you're putting yourself in danger and you're putting those around you in danger which is what you want to avoid one little slip and everyone goes down and that's what you want to avoid so you want to make sure that once you get your motorcycle license if that's what you're doing right now or if you already have it and you haven't done enough riding start to ride more start getting comfortable with different speeds start getting comfortable riding on different uh sides of your lane which is what we're going to talk about that next but you need to be a like i said before be honest with yourself you need to practice and be well aware of your surroundings like right now i'm being well aware of my surroundings i'm making sure i'm looking over my shoulder see who's coming what car if this car is not this car is pretty tight but i'm just gonna dip in here because that's that's just me <laughs> um so yeah um be, be very 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 honest with yourself guys don't don't say don't tell everyone hey yeah I've, I've been riding for a long time and you've never been on a group ride and you're lying about everything i've done a lot of group rides in the past um, and I always vet people, man. I, I always vet people. I, I look I look through their Instagrams. I groom them. And prior to anyone coming on a group ride who, who I don't, who I may not know of, I groom them and I ask them a bunch of questions. And you know, there's been times where you know I I, I don't get the answers that I want to hear. And you know, unfortunately, no, they they don't get to come on the group rides. 
Um, I've never had any, you know, any mishaps, any accidents or anything like that. And, you know, that that's one thing that I look forward to. I want to make sure that everyone comes out, has a good time, and, you know, it, everyone rides safe. Um, so, yeah, be honest with yourself. And then let's talk about being aware, aware of our surroundings. You're looking to your left. You're looking to your right at all times. Just because you're going straight does not mean that you shouldn't be paying attention to what's behind you or coming up around to your left or right. As a motorcyclist, you need to be aware. You need to be uh, aware 100%. That's why, like, it's it, it, this is one of my favorite things to do is to ride because I'm able just to have my brain focused 100%, and I'm ready for anything. I'm ready for the next move. So I know when you take your road test or your written test, they, uh, you know, th there, there's a very important question. It asks you, which is the safest lane or wh which, which side of the lane is the safest lane, right? It's like a little trick question. And the answer is there is no safe part of the lane or no safe lane. There is, right? Every lane is the same. So it's either if you're on the left lane or the right lane right here, right? Um, you need to always make sure, you need to know which part of the lane you're gonna be riding on. So right now we're riding on the left part of the right lane right here, right? And the reason why I'm doing that is because you see these side streets right here. There could be a car coming out. They may not be stopping fully. And I'm basically giving myself a few feet away from the intersection. In case if that car does come through a bit closer, I'm not all the way to the right, for example. I'm not here. So if that car was to come right out to the front, they might hit me. But due to the fact that I'm on this side, there's a lot more space. They're able to see me uh, from, from a longer distance. There's also riding in the middle of the lane. So you can ride on the right part of the lane, the middle of the lane, or the left lane. You can ride on this right lane, you can ride in the middle lane, or you can ride on that lane all the way to the left right there. There's no safe lane. Depending on what you're doing, um, the type of uh, riding you're doing or coming up with some intersections or if you're seeing some cars coming by, there's just, it, 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 you're, you're just looking out for any little thing that can happen. Safety first. Now, another thing you should be doing is using your turn signals, right? So, yes, we do have turn signals on these bikes and I know a lot of us at times do not use them. So, we do have the left turn signal here on the left and that right turn signal here on the right side use them because sometimes we may miss a sign but if we have these turn signals on the riders behind you are going to know what to do now let's go over another important thing when it comes to braking guys you should be using your rear brake at all times your front brake should only be used if you're going a really really high speed and you're you know you want to slow down real quick you might tap it but you're also using your rear brake at the same time but for the most part you're only you only should be using your rear brake for everything like right now i came to a stop so i put my my uh my foot on my rear brake but i'm also holding my my front brake here because i was coming to a stop um but for the most part especially when, when you're around and if you're in that group ride and you're going from stop sign to stop sign around town you should only be using your rear brake these especially when if you're on a bike like this this heavy you don't want to go and grab a full fist of brake and have the whole bike just lean one way and yeah you're you're, you're gonna go down and you're gonna cause an accident so rear brake a lot of uh see a lot of people that don't use them they just use the front brake and you, you should uh it's it's a better habit and I, you want to know something that's crazy because i know in the uh in the riding academy because i i took the the, the course when, before I got my license and then they tell you to use your 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 front brake as well which a lot of stuff it's 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 like when you like when you went to school back in the day right you went to school and they taught you certain things and when you grow up they were like yeah no that's uh that's the complete opposite we actually do it a different way now so that's what kind of happens with that stuff so what else what else we went over signs we went over being honest with yourself. We went over braking. We went over uh, what part of lanes to be on or which lane to be on. Um, just make sure that you know you're, you know what you're getting yourself into, guys. Um, and not just for yourself, but for others. So on that group ride, there's gonna be quite a few fellas on that ride or ladies. And you wanna make sure that everyone is safe, right? You wanna make sure you're safe and you wanna make sure that those around you are safe as well 
put it into practice, go out for a ride here and there, and you can even practice and talk to yourself. That's how I started vlogging. I just started going out, <laughs> just started talking to myself at times. Um, just talk to yourself, hey, I'm doing this. Hey, I'm doing that. I used to do that all the time. I used to go out riding, and I used to talk to myself, saying, hey, do this next, or don't do this, or whatever the fact may be. That's what I used to do. I don't do that anymore, because obviously I feel very comfortable with my riding now. And um, let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, hey, I'm the best rider, because I'm not. But I feel really comfortable now with my riding abilities. But I do have a lot of work to do um, uh, when it comes to, like, snow, slow maneuvers and all that stuff. So that's how I want to practice more and do more of it. We got a lot of bikes over here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop, man. A lot of bikes. Um, reason why we're here is because we're doing my bars. I know I did a video a little while ago talking about that we're doing my bars, but we couldn't do them that day. Um, I'm keeping the same riser setup. I'm just changing uh, the bar to a mid bend, and we're getting rid of the wall. This crap right here, and putting in a pretty blacked out triple tree from All S as well. So it's gonna be looking really, really nice. Look out for that video. Um, no riders. I think that, that that pretty much covers everything. I'm probably gonna be doing a few more videos following up on certain things, um, especially the one on signs. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.